Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today we are um, trying out some allegedly full coverage situations. I went online, just like everybody else, I'm sure, on Facebook that's ever even heard of makeup. I was berated with this Dermacol cover-up, makeup cover-up, foundation, whatever you want to call it. It claims to be waterproof, hypoallergenic, it, all this good stuff. Um, and it also claims to be like tattoo cover-up, so it could do anything from like, oh, I've got a tattoo I have to cover up for work, to like, oh, I just want to cover up acne and like all, I don't know, maybe some of this situation. So I have a couple fun stories already. My friend Kelly, shout out, what's up girl? Um, she tried this foundation, ordered it to put it on a tattoo so that way she could wear short sleeves to work, thinking maybe it would work similar to how it did in the video that they had circulating all over the internet. She put some on, she lathered it right up on there, and nope, wouldn't cover. So I get mine and I'm like, that is so weird. So I take, and boyfriend has a tattoo on his upper arm, and I'm like, hey honey, how you feel about letting me put some foundation all up on your arm? And he's like, you, you wipe it off, I don't care. So you know, I go and I'm like lathering it up, and I'll be damned, it wouldn't cover that up either. So I'm like, huh. Eh. I'm already super nervous, I'm a little skeptical, but I wanna try it. I don't have any tattoos, but I wanted to try it from my face because any day that I can get full coverage and it says you don't need much, which as we know previously from the tattoo situation is kind of a lie, but I'm thinking maybe if it's just like this kind of situation, maybe we could cover it up with a thin layer, make it breathable, maybe just set it and we'd be good to go. So I figured maybe you and I, we would jump in together, we would try it out and go from there. So how about we do that? How about we just try to cover up some of this, see how it wears, how long it wears, and all that good stuff. Why am I so loud? I mean, I'm always loud, <laughs> let's be real. But seriously, if I'm loud, I'm sorry, I just feel, wah! I feel really awake today, and I have another video to film today. So this could be good, could go both ways. Let's just jump in. Okay, so this is the packaging that it comes in. It's a really nice, like, sleek looking package. I don't know if this little thing right here is supposed to be like the strip of authenticity or whatever, but I don't really care. You open it up and you get, okay, maybe, and you get this gorgeous, I will say, like, their packaging is very nice, very pretty. The tube is very small. Um, it's 30 grams. I don't know what that equates to in ounces, but it don't matter. So, I picked the shade 208, which is the lightest shade I could get my hands on. So let's go ahead and take a little look. Oh, that's gonna be dark. Oh, man. Yeah, so that's not my skin tone. This is a very warm tone, and I'm definitely more of a cool tone kind of girl. But you know, what could be, what's the worst? Like I put it on and it's not my color? Okay, so what? So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go in first with a beauty blender. I've already primed and prepped my skin. I always do that with any foundation. You know it, it's what's fair. So let's just continue. We're gonna go in beauty blender style. That is thick. Can you like see how thick that madness is? Ooh, okay, let's, let's just do this. So I just put that in tiny blobs. See, there's nothing left. The entire, I just put the whole thing right here and it's didn't do anything. I feel like it made my face shiny and greasy. Didn't do a thing. Nothing. The full coverage, everlasting, Jesus loving foundation. And it didn't do anything. Okay, so we're going to try it with a brush. We're going to keep things fair. Maybe it's because I used a beauty blender. Let's try a brush. Okay, we're going to go in, put some product on the hand again. Not, not quite as much, but we're going to just do it. See what happens here, okay. So do I think that you get a little bit better coverage with the brush? Yes, I do. I think that it definitely did like layer a little bit nicer. I'm gonna go ahead and I think the way to do this is going to be to put the, maybe the product on with the brush and then try to smooth over it with a beauty blender. I don't know if it's just the product is being absorbed into the beauty blender. I don't know, but I feel like I have so much more coverage on this side than I do on this side. Um, so I'm gonna try applying it with a brush, evening it all out, and I will be right back one second. So I'm thinking that that's about as much as I should safely layer. I had to put way too much of this on. If I'm being completely honest, if this is supposed to be makeup cover, it does not do what it says it will do. Um, I have a couple of positives. I do feel like even though the, the tone was way too warm tone for my skin, I feel like it did do a very nice job of like melding in and just matching my skin tone, which was really nice. It didn't look like I put peachy undertones on blue undertone skin, which was really, really nice um, in my opinion. I do like the way 
mm, that it blended into the skin. I feel like it really sits nicely into it, which is nice. Um, but I also feel like with that comes, you see how shiny, I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't see anywhere on the packaging or the website that it claims to be mattifying, but I mean, for the, that's just, it's a lot of shine, but I'm going to give it its due. I'm going to go ahead, do my concealer do my um do my setting i'll probably actually set it with the velvetizer which you will have seen in the previous video that i posted um because this i think if anything can save this foundation i feel like it would be this velvetizer um maybe going in i'm not really sure how to help this because it's not like sitting horribly it just doesn't cover anything like there's still so much color like all of my my red areas, my patchy areas, they're still really, really red. Like down here on my jawline, I get really bad cystic acne down there. And it's just like, it didn't do anything. Um, but overall, like it does sit nicely into the skin and I can't, I mean, fault it for that. So I'm going to go ahead. I will shape tape. I will see you in a second. I'm going to get my full beat on and I will be right back. Woo, yeah. So as I sit here finishing my makeup, I'm like seriously frustrated because I feel like there is no coverage with this Dermacol. Like I keep looking and like waiting for like this magical situation to happen. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see exactly what kind of like not coverage we're talking about. Although I'm pretty sure you can see it, but I want you to really be able to like see exactly what it doesn't cover. And I even like, I busted out the velvetizer with it and a little bit of like setting powder. Wow, there is like so much setting powder in my face right now. But I'm so frustrated because like, like what are you supposed to put over this? Regular foundation? Like, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can take a look. Do you see all of this? Look at this, look at this madness. All of this not covered, like really not covered. I'm like, the only areas that I have any coverage are like down here, cause that's where I put my shape tape. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish my foundation. I'm gonna try and like put other, like another, maybe a powder foundation or something over this to make it like livable. But I'll check in in like just a second again, but I'm like, I'm already calling this a BS situation, but like, I'll be right back. So I obviously have my full beat on now, and if I'm being completely honest, like normally when I try a foundation, you guys know, like I give it a fair shake, I put it on my face, I wait the whole day, and then I come back and I check in at the end. This will not be one of those videos. You just saw how like not full coverage it was, and I actually, for the first time since I've like been wearing liquid foundation, I actually had to layer this foundation with another like powder foundation. I went in with my Tarte, what is this? Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. It's like a really good um, powdery, I don't even know how to describe it. It has like such a silky um, like cream to powder finish to it. I just, I love this stuff. It goes on, it always layers on my skin so nicely. Um, a lot of times if I'm going for just like a real quick, hey, I need to run out the door kind of thing, I'll grab this, I'll smooth it over my face and it'll just like, I don't know, it helps reduce the redness. It doesn't like cover by any means. It's not like a very high coverage, um, but it's definitely like a buildable-ish powder. I can pair this with like, um, like my Tarte Shape Tape, go over the problem areas and go from there and I feel good, decent about it. And for the first time since I've ever been using this, as I was putting it on my skin, trying to like cover this disastrous hunk of garbage, it was like cakey and like, it gummed it up on the actual bristles of the brush I was using for this powder. And I've never had that happen before. No matter what I've ever used this with, I know that that's never happened. And I was just like, oh, oh, we're going to be even sassy as we're going down, huh? We're going down. This ship is sinking and you're still going to give me problems. Thank you. But no. So I was just like, okay, we're going to come back on. We're going to be straight with the people and be like, look, any coverage or any anything that does result today is not a result of this. All this did is go on my face, covered up a little bit of redness, and made me very shiny, which I have now had to work twice as hard to counteract the level of shine. Thank God the air just kicked on because I am sweating. Whew. But uh, guys, I guess that's it for this review. Like, I don't have anything to say other than don't waste your money on this because it didn't cover anything. Didn't cover my friend's tattoos, didn't cover the boyfriend's tattoos, did not cover the acne and like all the issues is, is, is on my face. So I don't have anything real to say about this other than like, it's not worth your money in my opinion. If it works for you, holy hell, I'm happy for you. Maybe I just got a really bad batch. I don't, I don't know. I've seen it work on the internet for like other people, other YouTubers and stuff that I know. And there's a hole. Really? I'm holding it? It's not bad enough that you don't work, but you're going to get me nasty. Awesome. Well, that pretty much sums up my whole experience, doesn't it? <clears throat>
wipe that crap off before it ends up all over my damn everything. Okay guys, I hope that you found that relatively helpful, useful, all that good stuff. Um, I will leave all of my social media handles as always down below. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, questions, all that stuff. Always welcome. I'll help you in any way that I can. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys all later. And uh, yeah, bye. Da, 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 da.